I'm going to show you how to machine this complex 3D model using nothing but the Mill Pro Wizard. First we're going to start by moving our coordinate system from inside the model to the top center. You do this by going to the left hand side of your screen and choosing World on Model. Pick the top, the center, which is one of nine standard locations. You can position the coordinate system anywhere on the part that you'd like. Uh, we're going to keep the stock settings to zero. Our block has been cut to size. Now that we're in position, we're going to analyze the model for the largest ball end mill we can use to complete the job. You do this by going to Automation, Largest Corner Radius Possible. For finish, we are going to use a 16th ball end mill. Now we'll go to the 3D Machining Wizard. We'll start by roughing with a half inch flat end mill. I'm going to use pocketing with high speed machining. Our path offset, we can over travel the stock by the tool diameter with nothing in the way. Our Z step will be a little aggressive, we'll use a quarter of an inch. And then for a smaller step against the walls, we'll leave 50 thousandths. Our finish allowance, 15 thousandths and verify our toolpath. We'll take a look at what we can expect at the machine with a 3D preview. Now we'll go back to the Mill Pro Wizard. We'll re-rough with a 125 end mill. Take a smaller Z step of 30 thousandths. Now we'll start our finishing with a 3 8 ball end mill. Three D equidistant is a nice uniform step over. Now we'll go less the diameter so that our tool is tangent to our surfaces without dropping down the vertical walls. Our step over, the smaller the better finish. Same with our tolerance, the tighter the tolerance the better the finish. Now we'll refinish with the 16th ball end mill. Now I've been skipping over our speed and feeds. We're going to adjust those in the work step manager, which is a great final check before producing your G-code. Moving on to our last work step, we're going to engrave the text that was generated in TextCam on this 3D surface. First we have to create our path. We create a new curve, use curve chain. We're going to use discrimination so we don't pick any geometry underneath the letters. Click the first letter, the second letter, and EasyCam finds them all. Then we go to the Easy Wizards. This will be a finishing work step. We'll use curve projection. Path is going to be the last curve we created for the letters. Path offset is zero. We're going to center the end mill right on top of the curve. This would be tool number five. Diameter, the letters are going to turn out to be 0.025 in width. 
Now rather than be flush with the surface, we're going to go negative 0.02. Now the last step before we move on, we go to the work step manager. We make sure our tools are in check. If you want, you can drag your diameter next to your tools so you know your tool numbers and diameters are in line. You can alter your RPMs, change your feed rates, and on the right hand side you're going to see the time for each operation and then a total time. Now we're going to do a 3D preview and see it all come together. That is all for our Mill Pro Wizard. Visit us on Easy Show for more examples.